Carabao Defense Army serviceman Jose Grigorian sustained a fatal gunshot wound at the protection area of an NKR Defense Army military unit. According to preliminary information, Grigorian was fatally wounded due to another fellow compulsory military serviceman's violation of the rules for handling weapons. The fellow soldier has been detained. Tour guide Nairui Simonian has died due to a snowstorm at Mount Ara in Armenia. An 18-person hiking team, including Simonian, on Sunday went to Mount Ara, but they were caught in a snowstorm. Sometime thereafter, the members of this team found Simonian's dead body. Capital city Yerevan residents Racha Harutunyan, 22, and Edgar Navasartian, 38, also were caught in this snowstorm. They sustained injuries and are at the intensive care unit of a hospital in Yerevan. Turkish forces destroyed 3,000-year-old Ayn Dara temple during the military operation against Kurds in Syria on January the 28th. Human rights activists have published photos and released videos of the destroyed temple on Facebook. The Syrian government called for international pressure on Turkey to stop shelling archaeological and cultural monuments. January 28 marked the 26th anniversary of the Armenian Armed Forces. The leadership of Armenia and Artsakh visited the Yerabulur Pantheon in Yerevan to pay tribute to the fallen Armenian heroes. Speaking at the event, President Ser Sarkisian said he personally will spare no efforts for the effort to become more modern and powerful. The Armenian Foreign Ministry is clarifying media reports about the Armenians who were allegedly killed in Afrin, Syria. According to these reports, 24-year-old Armenian Rosher Konis and his mother, 57-year-old Shamsa Konis, were killed while his 25-year-old sister, Hanifa Konis, was injured. Representatives of the Armenian community of Syria will be among the participants in the Syrian National Dialogue Congress. Armenian deputies of the Syrian parliament, Nora Arisian and Shirai Reisian, have already arrived in Sochi, Russia, for a meeting set for Tuesday. Daily Star newspaper of the UK has presented its possible starting lineup for Arsenal's forthcoming English Premier League football match against Swansea City. The paper presumes that 29-year-old Armenia captain and midfielder Henrik Mkhitaryan will be in the starting 11 of the Gunners and make his debut for the club. The 2018 Grammy Award winners have been announced. Bruno Mars and Kendrick Lamar dominated the 60th annual Grammy Awards Sunday night, with Mars winning all six awards for which he was nominated. Lamar went on to win four Grammys. Both Armenians nominated for Grammy, Konstantin Orbelian and Dikram Mansurian, did not succeed.